Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. Let's start with what is affecting you right now in your subconscious that you may not be aware of. It is the lack of progress. You think that this connection with this past person was faded. You were meant to be with each other. It felt special. In fact, it may have been a karmic relationship. That's why you are so attached to them. Energetically, you think about them. But what is uh, what is some lessons or the main lesson for you from the past relating to this connection. You feel you felt always confused and like not knowing everything there, like something was hiding or was happening behind the scenes. When you have confusion, you should talk about your confusion and you should uh, want to have some answers as soon as possible before jumping into conclusions that may affect the relationship along the way. And also, does this person make you feel happy or anxious and stressed or suspicious? It's quite important. It uh, tells a lot about the quality of the connection. Now, how do you view this situation with them? You still want to find and bring happiness. Uh, you still uh, want to keep that hope uh, alive and wish to be with them. Let's clarify. Some of you are dealing with a Leo, or I have a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. From what I see here is that you still have feelings for them. That's why you are keeping that hope alive. But let's see, what is your hope or fear? Your fear is being hurt again by them, or that the connection may have ended completely and it cannot be restarted, especially after that painful event. Your focus is on trying to solve this relationship and for that to happen, there should be communication. There should be an initiation of contact from them. They should accept what they may have done wrong or that they didn't do much for the connection. Now let's see about your current energies. I see you healing, recovering. The good news is you are recovering fast. It is taking a bit longer than you expected, but it's for the best. Because until you are both fully healed, there can be a friendly reunion or a collaboration and the mutual respect can be put into place or that clarity can get better after a, a reunion or a communication with them about where the situation is going. So I see you recovering and healing and that is good for you uh, for gaining more clarity about this whole thing. Now let's see about this past person. Let's see about their current energies towards you. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. They are moving away, but the only reason why they are not talking, because they want to, is that they see problems in communication. They don't see it quite uh, an easy flow of uh, communication or trusting each other easily. Especially after that tower moment, that breakup, that event that happened, has made both of you feel a bit guarded and unsure. Now, do they have attraction? Yes, they do. Do they want to see progress? Yes, they do. Despite the differences, they want to find a way forward, even though they haven't found that, yay, uh, that way yet uh, but they need to talk they know it's not easy will they talk for the time frame of this reading the tower moment now they are reflecting a lot because that event that happened is the main blockage for them that is what is stopping this this uh, restart and they have so many questions that give them confusion now 
I will continue this reading and extend it about this person that is currently on your mind. Let's see about their current feelings, about how do they view you, their intentions, about the energies around them, about the mutual energies as well and the energies around you. So hopefully we will get more clarity about this person that is currently on your mind, about their current energies. And if you are interested to continue this reading in the extended, you can find it now in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next reading and bye for now.